हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वे हैव ऑलरेडी लुक्ड इन टू माई एस क्यू एल्स टेबल क्रिएशन एंट्रीज इंसर्शन इन टू द टेबल्स एंड हाउ टू ड्रॉप अ कॉलम और हाउ टू एड अ कॉलम और एट्रीब्यूट इन टू टेबल्स नाउ टूडे वील लुक इन टू हाउ टू अपडेट सर्टन वैल्यूज ऑफ द एट्रीब्यूट्स हाउ टू एड और ड्रॉप प्राइमरी की फ्रॉम द टेबल और हाउ टू modify the column domain or that is the attribute domain of any table hey maximize this uh let us prompt my sql using i've created the database by the name b so i'll use that database under that i have created a table by the name students so this is the name of the table students wherein the attributes are enrollment id name email enrollment id of the type character of length 5 name is of the type var char of length 100 maximum length 100 email is also var char of the maximum length 100 none of the keys are null primary key is assigned to enrollment id these are the default values just name i have default value is given as sha now let us say i uh, let us first have a look at the entries of the table so these are the entries which i have already entered into the table now let us change if i want to change the value of any one of the attribute okay so from mm, yeah so update students set email or uh, let me change the name so set the field name is equal to mm, let's say where so for which entry you want the name to be set as this that you have to specify where let's say enrollment id let's say if i want to change the name from shah to sachin so i'll where enrollment id is 6 okay now if you will see the name has been changed so this is how you change the entry of any attribute without deleting that whole entry and adding again we can change the value now as you can see the primary key has been set to an attribute named as enrollment id let's say if i want to change the primary key from enrollment id to email now so what i can first i have to drop the primary key of enrollment id there can be only just one primary key in the whole table so first i'll have to drop the primary key from enrollment id and then add the primary key tag to email so sorry first we'll be dropping the primary key so it is just alter table students and drop primary key so now as you can see 
द प्राइमरी की हैज़ बीन ड्रॉप्ड फ्रॉम एनरोलमेंट आई डी नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एड द प्राइमरी की तो एड प्राइमरी की एंड टू विच फील्ड यू वॉन्ट टू एड द प्राइमरी की इज एनरोलमेंट आई डी I again and added it to. Uh, let's say you want to add it to email. Drop the primary key first, and then add it to email. See now again the primary key has been added to email. So that is how we can change the primary tags from one attribute to other attribute. Now let's say if I want to change the domain name. Uh, let's say name instead of varcare hundred, I want it just character fifty. So. alter table students modify name of the attribute to be let's say care 50 with default as sejal okay so now if i describe see now the domain name of name has changed to car 50 null it can be null because i have not specified there that it should be not null primary key is email and the default has changed from shah to Sage. Now, besides all these domains, we have one more domain, special domain regarding dates. Now, let us uh, alter table students. Add column. That is, I am adding one more attribute to it. That is the date of birth of the format date, and it should be not null. So now the correct format is alter. students add date of birth means i want to add one more attribute to my entity students that is date of birth which is of the domain date okay i did not add the table syntax so it is alter table students add dob as format date the date is already added okay but this is the format alter table students that is the name of the table add dob of the format date now if we look at the table wherein all other attributes are filled except for the one that is the date of birth see date of birth is all null so if i want to modify or add the values of the date of birth what i can do is which we've already looked into alter 
टेबल स्टूडेंट्स सॉरी इट इज नॉट ऑल्टर वी नीड टू अपडेट सो अपडेट स्टूडेंट्स सेट डी ओ बी एस नाउ डी ओ बी एस द फॉर्मैट ऑफ वाई 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 दैट इज hyphen month hyphen date so oops i made a mistake here where i need to specify where i want this date of birth to go is equal to 20020 so it has come actually to all of them because in the this query i did not mention where i want it now let's say if i change the date of birth So where the enrollment ID is two zero zero one nine, that is the entry pertaining to the name Ganesh. The date of birth has to be set to year of nineteen eighty two, month of March, and the date is fourteen. See, the date has changed. All right. So that is the new domain that you can use. That is the date. so for your first experiment what you have to do is create a table insert entries into those tables add columns that is attributes drop certain attributes you can modify the value of those attributes you can modify the domain of those attributes you can drop primary key you can add primary key and all the things which have been shown in the these three videos up till now have to be tried on in the tables that you've created for your experiment number 1 okay that's it